Hello there, everyone. Looney Farm Guy here with another new mod for Wednesday, February the 2nd. And this may look somewhat familiar to you. It's the Wilson Pace Setter Pack. As uh, as I remember it from Farming Simulator 19, it is uh, the author who uh, brought it to us is SB Farms, 14.15 megabytes to download, which is actually... A fairly reasonable for uh, it's an actually a pack of two, um, a, a super B and a and an A train. So basically four trailers in this pack. Now it's uh, there's a few options and there's some interesting I'm gonna say interesting things about it. Um, Things I don't quite remember from 19, but we'll go through them, uh, you know, one at a time. So first of all, uh, we're going to look at the Super B, which I believe is this. It is saying uh, Wilson Pace Center front. Uh, well, let's have a look at it in the store, and then we'll... Um, all right, it's all the way to the end... There we go. Yes, the Super B Pace Setter, uh, Pace Setter Super B. It is a uh, a tandem trailer, uh, main color. You can have, you know, pewter, black, white. It's, uh, there's a few differences. The uh, uh, cover you can make in a Barbie pink if you like. And rim colors are just, um, yes, those choices. And, of course your uh, license plate. So, 88400 if you choose an extra... Oh, the color is $8,000 for color. Is that for every different color? Oh, that's the wheels. Okay, color, if we go back to white. Yes, okay, so eight grand if you want to change the color. Yeah, there you go, okay. Um... And then we have the Pace Center 8 train, which is $70,000, which is actually fairly reasonable for two trailers. Of uh, So this one is 60,000 liters, so 30 and 30. And this one is 55, which is, I believe, 50, 30 and 25 for the rear trailer. Again, the same options here. And you can make it just a CDP green. And uh, the, there. So... Um, operation. Um, we'll take one out and fill it up with some stuff, uh, just to show you how things work. Uh, let's just do that. So, we'll take this guy. And then we'll kind of go through, I'm going to spend a little bit of time with this, even though they're just trailers. And they pretty much work flawlessly. I don't see any problems whatsoever. There are a few interesting bits about them. And uh, they will show you what the, what they will hold. They will hold uh, so your basic uh, wheat, barley, oat, canola, sorghum, sunflower, soybean, corn, seeds, solid fertilizer, and lime, which is lime and pig food, which... I'm not sure if that's because I have the auger wagon uh, option that adds... Is this... It's not an auger wagon, so... There's your lime, and uh, it handles the lime quite well. It's not overloaded, it doesn't... And uh, let's say just some wheat. Uh, options, nothing except the only thing is the uh, close the cover. Uh, open, close. Uh, oh, you can do back and front from the same. You don't have to switch. Uh, up is the rear one on your D-pad, up on the D-pad, and left on the D-pad is the front one. So that's pretty handy. I kind of like that. Uh, let's watch them unload. Basically, uh, the unload speed is... We'll unload the back one at the same time. And there they go. Uh, nothing spectacular, but not painfully slow either. <clears throat> and the other uh, 
this this is the uh, this is the one with the, tr the sorry that we're gonna get out of there I'll show you a little bit better I hate that camera collision so this is the trailer version um, I'm going to show you a couple of more things about this that may make it interesting for you um, uh, they, of course they unhook um, the rear trailer is um, is just a normal trailer it is a I believe it is a pin hitch it is a pin hitch see with the one with the hole uh, we have a pin hitch on this semi here so it will hook up to anything with a pin hitch there you go <clears throat> as well as um, uh, the trailer uh, the front trailer that goes along with this trailer this is the eight train one uh, anything with a pin hitch will hook up to it so if you want to just take that around and have say this Roland trailer behind you you can do that as well uh, also when it comes to selling them so as you can see when you buy it it comes as a set two in a pack you get them both they'll, they'll appear we'll buy this there it is right there there it is you get it just like that and when you go to sell it they're they're separate so if you don't want the front bits um, you can sell the front piece off of it uh, you can sell all the you can sell them all and uh, just have the this is uh, um, you can just have the, the trailer if you want and use the trailer if you don't want the trailer and just want the front bit then sell the trailer and so it's kind of handy that way um, it's well the other thing is nice it's not split into I mean the the, the in-game ones have split it's like two or three uh, uh, hoppers per trailer this one's one each it kind of keeps it simple if you like that um, you can mix and match with some other um, I do believe the other ones probably gonna fit because we have you can put another semi trailer on there on the back of this if you like and uh, yeah so it's a pretty nifty set it might be that there's not a lot of color options there there's the color options for the uh, the roof bit uh, the the tarp um, but um, other than that but it's still a very nicely functioning trailer and uh, something that I'm sure will fit into um, a lot of your uh, maps and uh, usage and uh, that's the Wilson Pace Setter Pack by SB Farms 14.15 megabytes to download I'm a Lonely Farm Guy and remember it's just a game so have fun till next time bye for now